Good morning and welcome to this week's broadcast. I'm Jack Day. And I'm Claudia Barton. And now we're going to send you all over for a sports update. Hey, I'm Cedric Williams. I'm an Andalusia High School sports analyst. Today I have with me two members of the tennis team, Abigail Lee and Garrett Riddle. So Abigail, as you're a senior this year, how will you continue to spread positivity and leadership throughout the team? Well, as a senior, I've been on the team for four years now, and I've witnessed all of the different leaders come and go, and they've put their heart and soul into it. So I hope to do that to this group of young people this year. For sure. And Gary, what is your take on that? Um, as my first three years on the team, uh, we had a really dominant team coming up. Um, now being a senior, we've lost most of those players, and we've had a lot of uh, underclassmen come up. Um, which is a good thing. So in a couple of years down the line, hopefully they'll be solid players and they'll be able to uh, lead the team like I'm hoping to do this year. And Navigail, as this being Coach Wiggins first year as a coach, how is he really leading the team? Well, I think that he really cares about the team. He's been watching videos, studying up on how to play tennis, and he's trying to help us. So mm -hmm. that's been positive for us this year. For sure. And what's your take on that? Um, coach Wiggins is a really solid uh, coach. He really cares about what he's doing. Um, and he plans to stick around for a couple of years. We haven't had the best luck with having a tennis coach um, stick with the team. Um, but he seems like he really wants to uh, take care of the team and lead us up to be good players. Word. And who will y'all be playing next? Lamp. Our next match is Lamp. <laughs> um, that one's going to be a challenge, but hopefully we can come out on top. Well, thank you guys and have a great season. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Hey, I'm Cortland, and I'm here with Kadarius Love, a freshman on the Andalusia High School basketball team with the boys. Kadarius, with y'all losing area this year, if you could replay the season, what would you change? Um, I'd probably bring in Coach Me earlier. You know, he didn't have that much time with us at the beginning of the season, so right. we had to come in with all his things and try to make the season as great as you could. Kadarius, what was the best advice Coach Mickles has gave to you this season? Um, we had came in the locker room after a practice, and he had told me, when you want it as bad as you want to breathe, then it'll matter to you. Oh, that's some good advice. And what were y'all rec- Oh, I'm not asking y'all your record. Okay. And now I'm here with Taya, an eighth grader. She played on the junior high team, and now she's playing on the varsity team. How do you deal with the pressures of having to perform in front of a crowd? Um, sitting on the bench, it starts off like really nerve-wracking, and then once you get in and just play how you know how to play, the pressure kind of dials down and things get easier. And Tay, what is your advice for anybody wanting to try out next season for basketball? Um, even when you mess up, always keep your head up and go out there and be confident. Um, and even if you do get nervous, nervous, don't show it. Just kind of. <laughs> I don't know. Get else. back over here so I can say thank you, Taya. Thank you, Taya. Hi, I'm Braxton Baker, and I'm here with the AHS golf team. I'm here with Sarah, George, and Kate. So what are y'all's plans for this year? I'm, uh, I'm going to plan on improving my game this year. I'm looking forward to improving just like him. And I'm looking forward to getting more wins this year. So y'all got a new coach this year. Tell me, how's Coach Malone going? Um, it's going good. He's giving us new drills that are helping us improve our game. Thank y'all. We'll be checking in on you guys around midseason. Good luck. My name is Jadia Lowry, and I'm here with two of our varsity soccer players. I'm here with Griffin Kennedy and Kolya Barton. Griffin is a senior, so I'm interested to know how do you feel that this is your last season playing for Andalusia High School? Well, although it's my, I'm sad for this my last year and that I'm going to be missing all these guys like Kolya and the underclassmen that I've been putting a lot of time and effort in, I am really excited to go see a new chapter in my life. and move on to bigger and better things. The team has an upcoming game this Friday against Park Crossing. Kolya, how do you feel that game will go? Uh, I think if we work together and listen to a coach and do what we do, I think we will do pretty good. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for that update. So there's been a lot of talk about starting a fishing team. Now let's hear from Braxton and Daryl. Hello, I'm Braxton Baker, and I'm here with Coach Dent. Coach Dent, do you think Andalusia should have a fishing team? Well, I think it'd always be a, you know, a good thing, Braxton, to uh, you know, get other students involved in things, as many students involved in um, you know, school-based organizations and clubs as possible. Um, definitely think it would be a good thing, um, you know, and hopefully that's something we can explore down the road. All right, and do you think we could pull one off if we did have one? 
I think we definitely could pull it off. I think there's enough students that we could get something going. Uh, you know, obviously got to have a sponsor and a coach, but uh, I think it's something we definitely need to look into. All right, thank you for your time. Absolutely. Here with Hunter and Braxton. Braxton, do you think Andalusia should have a fishing team? Yes, I do, because Strawn and Ock are big rivals to us, and they have they are competitors to us, and I think we should get one. All right, and Hunter, do you think our school could benefit off of a fishing team? Yes, because it can also got, get more people to do it and get more like scholarships and stuff. Like you can win scholarships and money. All right. Hello, my name is Daryl Loden. I'm here with Andalusia High School. Drake, do you think we should have a fishing team? And if so, how do you think it could benefit our schools? I think we should have a fishing team because a bunch of people here would enjoy the sport of fishing and it gives us another thing to be on at. Makes sense, makes sense. Anything else, like if so, if we did have a fishing team, do you think you would be on it? And if so, why? I, I would be on it because I enjoy fishing on my weekends, whenever I'm not doing anything. Me and my family go fishing all the time. And I got six catfish in one day, so. Thank you, Drake. Thank you. Back to you. Fishing team, vote yes. So how y'all rate yesterday food, like at the lunch room, like one, one out of 10? Seven. Eight, about an eight. Uh, seven. About an eight. What's your favorite thing in love? Country fried? Yeah, I said the country fried. Country fried thing? Yeah. What's your favorite thing? The wings. The wings? Yeah. Corn dogs. Corn dogs. Uh, country fried steak. Country fried steak? steak. Yeah. Right on. What'd you rate that? He's a team. I eat it. What's your favorite lunch? Probably, probably the country fried steak. Country fried steak. Uh, can y'all rate the yesterday lunch one through ten? Six, chicken Alfredo. Good. It was like ten. Ten. Like a negative two. Negative two. Wow. What's your favorite? My favorite probably chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Yeah. What about, you? Uh, about a five. About a five. What's your favorite? Chicken sandwich. <laughs> All right. So what? What's y'all favorite lunch? Like, what's y'all favorite thing hey, to eat in lunch room? Salisbury steak and the chill. Oh, boy. All right, man, I'm Crispitos. <laughs> what about you? Chicken bites. <laughs> the pizza be straight. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, country fried steak is the best. And now prom is coming up, so let's get an update from Cooper. Hey, everybody, I'm Cooper Taylor, and here's your prom update. This year's prom will happen Friday, March 11th, at seven o'clock. The theme is Upscale New York, and all juniors and seniors are welcome to attend. We hope to see you there. Hi, I'm Malia Turdway, and this is Javen Thompson with the AHS Peer Helpers. He's here to tell us a little bit about what they've been doing this past month. The AHS Peer Helpers have been currently working on training our newly inducted members. We've also been working on presentations for our AHS Build Up Boot Camp going on next month. Also, coming up February 15th, the library will be closed due to training with South Central Mental Health. Also, our February newsletter has been recently posted. Thank you so much for keeping us informed. Back to you, anchors. I'm here with Junior Miss Mimluja, Jaden Berry, and Miss Mimluja, Marion Starnes. How are y'all doing today? I'm good. I'm good too. Jaden, you won last year as well. How much did it mean for you to win this year as Junior Miss Mimluja? This year, it meant as much as last year. I'm just ready to do it again next year. As most of you know, the seniors had the task of answering a question on stage. Marion, what was running through your mind when you were answering the question? Well, I've had lots of experience being on stage and in front of other people, so I really wasn't nervous when I was answering my question. I acted like I was in an interview or just having a conversation. Jaden, how would you sum up your pageant experience from this year? I would say I was really nervous when it like first came up. Like It came so quick, but at the end of the day, I did it, and I just encourage everybody to try your best. Now, Marion, would you recommend girls doing this in the future? I would recommend because it's a big confidence booster and it's a lot of fun. I'm Cooper Taylor here with Junior Miss Mimaluja Jaden Berry and Miss Mimaluja Marion Starnes. And thank you for watching and remember to tune in to our next broadcast. <laughs> That's it for this week's broadcast. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next week.